What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today I want to test something we haven't really done in a while, and that is our Sword Flash, because you guys know we haven't had our Householder for quite a long time now, um, she's sitting at base, like if we, if we really set her up the way we want to for PvE, uh, I mean she's sitting at a cool like 2 million damage, so, I want to see how this hero can work out we're even gonna run shared fate because in guild i already did a couple hits today and i wish i hadn't have but we have two more attempts to do it we have molassa the, the highest damage numbers you can possibly get are against like molassa so i want to see what we can do with this hero with oh, oh my god it's even more power now okay so <laughs> let's take a look let me make sure all of her householders are like fully maxed out for attack capabilities so we have who we've got fiona inosuke asmodel and queen so let's make sure all of them have a plus 25 percent artifact on them we have that on you sir which actually let me just check holy attack attack we don't is that more attack 82 versus 80, yes, yeah, barely more, but we'll stick with that. We have the attack imprints. That is good. The queen, I think the queen, we have a plus 20 artifact. That's not going to cut it. We need something with plus 25. There we go. Um, we also need to maximize her attack here and here, just so she goes crazy all out with her attack stats. Now her skin, 6% attack versus 6%, same, not a big deal. Um, let's have speed. Yeah, we'll leave it on because we're going to actually hold on. Wait a minute. We might need to put a demon bell on her for PVE. Let's see who else we're using. We're of course going to throw Drake in there. He's going to go last. He's good to go. Let's make sure our Fiona and our Inosuke, uh, not quite the artifact I want on each one of them. We'll give you a kiss of ghost. And then we will give you, I guess A and B works for you. Yeah, we don't have as good of a stone. But it'll have to do for the time being. Okay, so energy artifacts. We need our Rogans and we need our Heart Watcher. Now, let's turn all of these back into the ones we want here. Because I think we want to run as many Demon Bells here as possible. We got one, two, three. I think we just need three of them. Three here. Hero number four, hero number five. No, we're only going to run two of them, actually, because we need to run both uh, the queen. Yeah, we need to run the queen, and we need to run the sword flash. So let's hide that. Let's make sure their, their speeds, I think, are going to be all right, but we do need to confirm that on top of everything else. We need her to get an active in round one, and then we need to continue the chain as we move along. So... 1828 what is her speed 1934 Ooh, ooh. so the v4 rogan will definitely go first but nobody else <laughs> uh oh that's gonna be a problem um i guess a round one basic isn't the worst thing in the world to happen i think it's gonna be really hard to get more rogans up here unless we decide to switch around some imprinting, which we could take it off the Shaho, but I really want it on. I think we're just going to leave it as is. I mean, we already have Aspen sitting here without any void imprint. So let's just give it a go. Let's see how this works out. Guild Altar against Molassa. Uh, I think we have the right team set up, right? We have the correct. Yep, yeah, we have the two regular no skin Rogans, which those should be good. We have the Drake. Uh, we have her built fully offensive. We have the bleed with the queen. I think we're good to go. So let's jump into it. Let's see what our crazy high damage numbers could potentially be. Yeah, so she's going to get a basic in round one, which feels a little bad. But uh, I mean, it is what it is at this point. Okay, here we go. Now we start ramping up. Round two on, we'll have an active every single time from our Sword Flash. There's really no point putting anybody in any specific spots because these molasses hit random targets. But 
you can always do the highest damage versus them so this is going to be fun because there's no cc effects we can run shared fate as the e3 enable which just gives her even more attack value which is crazy and we just gotta hope the wolf buff lands on our sword flash as much as possible. Ooh, come on. Do you guys think we're going to break like our previous records with Vesa? Because I'm pretty sure like a lot of the newer heroes that we've tested in PvE, we've gone up against like more difficult bosses like Dark Arthendal, Kameh, things like that, where you can't really optimally just go all out offensive and see what happens. All right, so now the Sword Flash is definitely first. That is good. Reinvigorate everybody with those Demon Bells. I wonder what our damage is already looking at. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that is a lot of damage already. What are the counterattacks for? 1.5 billion. Our Sword Flash is counterattacking with Queen's Royal Guard for 1.5 billion. So there is some RNG involved with this too, of course. Uh, her actives are going to be crazy when she can hit all the targets. Oh my goodness. I wish they would try to hit her more. The more they hit her, the more chances she has to block and to dodge. Okay, round 12 coming up. Let's check the numbers here. I think that first damage number got rounded down again. You know how once we hit like a certain number, it just visually doesn't show the proper number? I think that's what's happening here. Oh, against all three targets. That was huge. Do you think we're going to get like some crazy high damage number? I need to go back and see what our Vesa has done. We got one more round coming up here. Let's see what this number is going to be like. Oh, wait. Sorry. We got two more attacks. All right. Here we go. Counterattacks. What's the counterattack for? 2.4 billion. Oh, my God. All right. Here we go. Sword Flash. Big damage. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay. Let me see if I can see if I can find what Vessa's previously high damage numbers were. I think her previous damage was like, uh, I don't even know what it was. So she did 1.8. I don't think that actually beats out what the Vessa has done in the past. So Vessa breaking the game. So she previously did like 1.3 billion. So this is pretty solid. I think Aspen might've been the one that did it a little bit better. Let me see. Um, Lord of Fear. Oh, I don't have any of the numbers right there for Lord of Fear Aspen. Let me see if I can search for it real quick. Uh, da -da -da, Aspen. I know we've done one of them that we did something similar here where we took a look at his overall damage, but I don't know. No, it looks like we haven't. But I mean, that's almost 2 billion by herself. That's pretty good, but it is molasses. We do have to remember that. Do you want to just smash this one out, see what happens? Because we already know pretty much what's happening. If we did adjust the speed a little bit, we'd get like one more active in. It wouldn't be that big of a deal, but the damage is about the same right here, about 1.7. So not bad at all. I would say pretty solid overall. I mean, it's been a while since we've used her, and she is chilling at this nice 2.1 million attack which is just crazy so not too bad antlers cane attack attack full set of gear let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time